ago and I thought it'd be fun to do a little morning vlog. I've really been trying to kind of get back into your routine again. I feel like since the start of the new year I've just been so everywhere that I haven't been able to settle into any routines so I'm trying to build those up again. Right now I'm gonna drag myself to the gym. <laughs> Got on my workout set. If I do not go within the first hour of waking up, I'm just not gonna go. So we are getting it done. I think that's been the hardest thing to get back into is my workout routine. I was on a really solid grind, not anymore, but I did go the past few days. I don't know, I'm just trying to build up my momentum with going again. Today's leg day, I'm not that excited. I know I'm gonna feel good after. I am dead. That was so hard. I am so glad I did that. I just haven't been feeling motivated to go, but I know that I don't need motivation to do something. I just have to do it and keep my promises to myself. I definitely had, I don't want to say a slower start to 2022 because I feel like literally the first day of the new year, I moved out. I just moved out alone and that was like a big life change for me. But in terms of New Year's goals and resolutions, I did make a few. I made, I think, five, but I just haven't really thought about any of them because I feel like I've been so consumed with this whole moving process. So I'm really looking forward to dialing it back a bit and get my life together, I guess. I don't know, I don't think it's not together, but I just feel like my priorities have been elsewhere, which is fine. You can't have everything be a priority. I just really wanna prioritize my health and my wellness the next few days just so I can get back into the rhythm. Are you okay? My refrigerator is working very hard. One moment. For me, when I'm in a rhythm, I am in a rhythm. I am unstoppable, but I've just been out of a rhythm for so long. Every day has been so different, so I feel like there's just been no structure, which is fine. I need to learn to be fine with that. It's good to change things up for sure. to make some breakfast now if there's one meal that i know how to properly cook it's a killer breakfast when i do cook i'm very prone to injury so i'm a little scarred from some of the experiences that i had i have burnt my hands grabbing the pot handles i almost severed my entire fingertip off a few days ago <sighs> finger update i don't know if anyone cares uh, it's healing, it's very inconvenient. It's not sore anymore, but I keep it covered because she's not 100% yet. I could go into detail, but I'm not because I don't wanna get graphic right now. I love cooking breakfast though. I'm very excited. I feel like there's so many solid options for breakfast. I always get confused on what to make for lunch. So if you have good go-to lunch recipes that you like, comment them down below because I feel like I have so many breakfast and dinner ideas but lunch is kind of a question mark for me so we're gonna make some breakfast
looks insane. I have not written anything down in my planner for so long. I only got it out of the box that it was packed in a few days ago, which I feel like kind of contributed to me not really having a schedule, not having a routine. I didn't really have a set plan for every day. I just feel like everything was so scattered because obviously I was just moving in. It's a new space. There was lots of things I had to do. That is changing now. I have my planner. This is the one I got for 2022. It's the weekly reset planner by Lavender. And I really, really like it so far. I've been using it for a total of two days but I really like it. So I usually write out what I wanna do the day before, sometimes in the morning. If I remember stuff that I need to do, I'll add it, but I try to do it the night prior. So I did that, I did that, but I did not do that. I have to clean the house. It has not been cleaned in a while. I clean the kitchen every night and I wipe stuff down, but I feel like with all the moving craziness, I haven't had an actual cleaning day. And I just wanna spend maybe like 45 minutes to an hour. I wanna vacuum, I need to clean the bathroom because that hasn't been done. I would love to do a little bit more of a deeper clean today. So that's what I'm gonna do. It's a bit of a rude awakening when you have your own place and you realize your parents, mostly my mom, isn't there to do all the chores. I don't really feel like it right now, but we're gonna do it. Cleaning is done. I've decided not to do a full deep clean today just because I think it would take a few hours. Let me know if you'd want to see a video on that. I know you guys love watching cleaning videos, as do I. I'm just not going to do that today, but when I do do that, let me know if you'd like to see it. I did the most important stuff though, so I'm very happy about that. Let me give you some apartment updates. I feel like we have not done a little catch up on what's going on with the apartment, so let's see what's been happening. I believe only Instagram has seen this so far, but I put my leaning white ladder shelf in my room. I was originally going to put this in the office, but I have so much storage in there, and I think this adds a nice bit of color and decoration to my room so that is right here i don't know if the decorations are going to stay like this i truly love how it looks right now and the color scheme is very cohesive and very aesthetic so i love seeing that but as i decorate the rest of the apartment we'll see if this stays but for now i really really love this i still do not have any nightstands they actually got delivered to my parents house so i have to go and pick that up but i got one for right here matching ones uh for each side so hopefully that will look really good there and kind of complete the room because other than that, I really don't have any other furniture that I think I'm gonna put in here. A little update on this dresser. If you watched my closet video, then you would have known that I received a damaged dresser. I have just been using it because they weren't able to replace it till the first week in February and I really did not want to keep living out of my suitcases. So all of my clothes are in here and I'll just switch them out when the new one comes. I still have no idea what I want to put on this wall. I have not even begun to think about any decorations for this apartment yet, but I will figure that out later. The living room is still empty. It's so empty. <laughs> Let's talk about it. I still basically have an empty apartment, living room wise. However, I have a big, fat, juicy delivery coming Monday, and that will be a whole video because I think I'm getting five pieces delivered minus a couch. Ava, what's going on with the couch? To make a long story short, I bought a couch that is way too big for this space and I was so happy with it. I was like, this is my dream couch. It was so monstrous. I didn't realize this when buying it because I hadn't been living in the apartment. So I only was basing buying stuff off of what I remembered from the tour. And I was like, oh, an 89 inch couch will fit. 
it's not gonna fit. So <laughs> I have to get a new couch now, which means things are gonna be pushed back and I'm not gonna have a couch for probably another month. Maybe I'm crossing my fingers sooner, but I'm not gonna get my hopes up because a mistake like this was bound to happen, but it's being fixed, it's being resolved. I just will not have a couch for a while. That will be the last thing to come. So that is my couch update. Not much has changed out on the balcony. I really just have not given any type of decor anywhere in my apartment a second thought, so. We just have the chair patio set here. I did add some outdoor slippers that I'm just gonna use out here because this is kind of dirty and I don't wanna track on to my clean carpet. So we have those outdoor slippers. Anyway, here's an office update, even though there really isn't much of one because this is kind of just where all the mess accumulates. As you guys know, I built this desk. I also built this, which will be a little clothing rack. I just have not done anything to this room really because it's kind of my last priority. I'm really just focused on my bedroom, on the living room and living area, so. This will come together with time. I'm definitely excited to utilize this second bedroom, but for now, it's kinda just hanging out. Here is my guest bathroom, which I don't think I've ever shown you, but this is my pink bathroom. It's pink. I'm paying homage to my grandma to do's pink bathroom. It is so iconic. I was like, I need to have a pink bathroom. So it's got all little pink accessories. It's very, very cute. And those are all the updates that I have for you right now. Again, Monday is gonna be such a big day because this place is finally going to start filling up. And then after that, I can kind of start decorating, thinking about prints, decor, color schemes. So that'll be very, very fun. But right now I think I'm gonna run some errands. Tell me why I'm excited to like run errands and do adult type things. I'm changing. <laughs> First stop is Whole Foods. I really just wanna get some fresh fruit. Maybe fresh veggies. That is a little bit of a stretch, but I'm definitely getting fruit. Let's do a Whole Foods haul, shall we? I didn't get too many things, but I got some good stuff. Tortilla chips. These ones just look so crunchy, fresh, and good. I bought this with the intent of eating it with guac or salsa, but I don't know if I have either. I did pick up some fruit. I got some blackberries and some strawberries. Two avocados. I feel like if I get more than two, maybe three at a time, I forget about them and then they go bad. So I'm trying to be more mindful with that. I did go to the snack aisle, which I wasn't intending to do, but these were calling my name. These are Annie's White Cheddar Squares. Kind of a ripoff of Cheez-Its, but I love Annie's. I got two lemons. I love my lemons a lot. And then to finish it off, I got these two poppy drinks. I have had these before and I forgot they sold them at Whole Foods. So when I saw them, I was like, immediately yes this one is raspberry rose flavored and this one is strawberry lemon flavored i love these i've had them before they're prebiotic soda drinks they're very delicious that is everything i got from whole foods i do need a few things at target let's go there something crazy just happened this was the first time in all of history of target trips that i've done that I went in, got exactly what I needed, and not a single thing more. I got two things from Target, literally unheard of. Usually you go in for what you need and come out with everything but what you need, so we are making progress here, guys. I got some dry shampoo because I noticed that my hair has been getting quite oily pretty quickly lately, and obviously it's not good to wash your hair every single day, so I got some dry shampoo. Also, for my dining table, I picked up some wood surface wipes because I definitely want to take care of it because I want to have that dining table and chair set for a very long time. So, that's what I got from Target. I just got back from doing my errands, and I picked up a few packages at the mail room. So, I thought we'd do a little unboxing. Oh my gosh. Best Buy just sent me an espresso. Ah! Best Buy! What the heck? It is an espresso virtuo. I think this is the fancier version of the one that I bought for myself. That is so, so sweet. And what is this? <gasps> oh! Best Buy went off. We did a long-term partnership last year, and I did not expect this. The partnership just, I don't want to say ended, but it didn't, because it was six months, and the six months are over. But they sent over 
these goodies, which is literally so sweet. These Philips Hue wireless lighting, which I have seen people use. It makes their rooms and like living rooms look so sick. I think this is the one for a freaking TV. Thank you, Best Buy. Literally spoiling me. I don't, I don't, I am baffled and grateful. That is so sweet. <gasps> a note. That is so cute. I love the Best Buy team. I also <laughs> got a new bikini. Did I need it? No, but you will understand why I bought it. It is this beautiful new print from Benoa Swim. They're a local swim company. New bikini, love it. I'm obsessed with the colors. I don't really have a lot of pink things. I thought this would be really pretty for spring. What is this? <gasps> oh my gosh. That is so cute. It's a package from, from Goldie. That is where I used to get my matcha from and they have some of the best matcha ever. They sent over a packet of their pure matcha. I'm so excited. The ones that I had from them expired. So this is literally perfect. <gasps> How crazy. A pure soy candle that I can already tell smells really, really good. Ooh, coconut collagen boost. Skin, hair, and nail support. That sounds so, so good. And lastly, we have a little face mask. Papaya Bright Exfoliating Face Mask. I think it comes as a powder and then you add water to this. Thank you, Goldie. I think it is their five year birthday coming up or just passed. So that's so amazing. They are a really awesome company. One more package. These are my favorite sneakers at the moment. I have them in green and navy, so I thought a black and white pair would be quite a staple. They are New Balance 550s, some of the best shoes I've ever worn. This style of shoe was my New York City shoe, so it's very good for walking, and I feel like it's also very stylish. That is my little haul. I feel like it's still gonna take a little bit to settle into some routines. I feel like once I have my apartment set up, it's going to feel much more calm just because I feel like I've been running around trying to make it feel like a home, trying to buy furniture and stuff, but everything's on its way. So should be feeling very homey very soon. It already feels very homey. It's just empty. I'm so excited to get back into my routines. You guys know I love my routines. I used to always do morning routine videos when I actually have a set morning routine. I will definitely do another video like that. I don't know. Every day has just been so different because I have had no set plan to every day. I feel like routines just make my life so much smoother and when you have routines you don't have to think about what you need to do so you don't feel as scatterbrained and whenever I have a good morning routine I just feel like life is a little bit better it goes a little bit smoother thank you for joining me on this journey today thanks for hanging out with me monday's the big day big delivery day stay tuned to my instagram if you want in real time updates i love you goodbye